Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And this lesson begins section five, and we're going to talk about managed hosts. And a managed host is basically another appliance on your deployment. So let's say, for example, you're a SOC and you manage uh, different clients. So each client would ideally get its own event processor and event collector, which would be managed hosts, right? Each client is going to be a different managed host. So I went ahead and I created a new virtual machine. Um, but this time it's not a console, it's purely an event processor. And in order for you to do that, guys, the only thing you have to do is uh, begin the installation process again. And instead of appliance install, you're going to choose software install. And then you're going to mark event processor if you want to follow along. Um, the virtual machine hardware, hardware can be um, weaker than the console. So you can uh, install it as well if you want. But if not, that's okay. It's mainly intended to distributed deployments. So you can also just take a look and see what I'm doing here. And let me go ahead and add my new event processor to my deployment. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the admin tab and click on system and license management. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on deployment actions and add host. So my host IP is 192.168.165. My password, I'm gonna type it in. And you don't um, have to check any of those boxes if you don't need to. And a remote tunnel, tunnel initiation basically means that in, in, it's going to initiate an encrypted tunnel from the remote host instead of from this host. So for example, if this is host A and host A has connection to host B, the tunnel is created by host B. So I'm not going to mark any of those. Nothing here as well. And I'm going to go in ahead and click on add. And it's going to Um, most of the time it's going to take a while. Again, it depends on uh, on the load of your of your deployment, and it's going to perform some uh, steps here. So we we are going to have to deploy changes again. As you can see at the top left, I already can see the yellow message, and I'm going to pause the video again and resume once the operation is done. Okay, guys, welcome back. And as we can see, our new event processor has been added to the deployment. And we see that we have to deploy changes, but this time uh, it's not a full deployment. So we can go ahead and click on deploy changes. And this will require services to restart because this is a, a new appliance. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue and pause for a few moments again. And as we can see, guys, our deploy finished and our new appliance has been added to the deployment. And that way you can add new appliances to your deployment, whether it's going to, to be an event processor, a collector, an app host, anything else that you want. And now every log uh, that's been sent to my new event processor is going to be stored there. And it can be accessed from the console because the console um, is linked to every other appliance. So the console is like the master appliance and the rest are uh, child appliances. And so, okay, and that's going to be that. And I'll see you guys uh, in the next video where we're going to talk about some the different aspects of different uh, components 
of system administration in Curator.